I'm Jonathan Porter, creator and owner of Chicago Pizza Tours, and now the Chicago Prohibition Tour. And I'm Jonathan Notek, writer, tour guide, and now proud partner of Chicago Prohibition Tours. For me, there are three main things I ask myself when considering a business that is going to serve as entertainment for thousands of customers. You know, first, can we include the correct stops and material? Meaning, are the right types of speakeasies that we want to showcase on board with providing us access and allowing us to tell their story? Second, is this going to be something different than what everyone else out there is doing? There are some great tour companies in Chicago, and we wanted to be sure that this was truly a unique experience that we provided. I believe that being a small business allowed us to think differently from some of the mass market tours and provide a really unique experience. And the third thing I ask myself is, after people take this tour, when they see somebody for the first time and they say, hey, what's new? Like, this would be the first thing that comes right out of their mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously it was a little bit of a tall order to get John on board, but once he was, what it came down to was research. Um, we met several times, and what we had to do was share articles, um, read books, watch documentaries, things that were going to give us the history of Prohibition. And what we found very quickly is that Prohibition goes a lot further back and a lot deeper than what we expected. A lot of what we learned shocked us in a lot of ways, especially to learn how much people actually drank before Prohibition. Once we had all that down, we realized that this was going to be more than just a tour about Chicago. It was going to cover Prohibition in general. So the next logical step is finding great places like these. Exactly. We wanted to bring people to places that weren't just bars before Prohibition, but speakeasies during Prohibition and are still active bars today. The only thing that was left for us to do was create a memorable experience for those of you who are going to join us. Something we could put our names on. Oh, play that thing!